instead of seeing you as my partner in poverty, you will become my enemy. You are poor and I am poor, but you are my enemy because you are a Shia and I am a Sunni, because you are a Sindhi, I am a Punjabi, because you are a Muslim, I am not, because you are an Arab, I am a Pakistan. But the real connection is our class. This is our need. And our connection to Syria, our connection to Cuba, our connection to Venezuela is the connection of poverty, exploitation, and deprivation. And that is why we should not be voted against <coughs> countries like Syria and the United Nations. Okay, now I'm going to pick up my Uh, now, what's the internal story? The internal story is that in Pakistan, there is a big divide happening. There were a lot of conflicts that took place here in the last year or so. The civilian rulers are taking one decision and the army is taking another decision. And that is why Pakistan is going to be a target in the near future of America. Because America cannot oppose, or cannot tolerate any opposition to Pakistan. We are going to be already. I know we are not happy what's being done against the Americans. But considering the rulers and how they think, I think it's a lot. They got the supply line. Uh, for the Americans, that's a big thing. If you remember when the Perry Luger bill was uh, passed in America, uh, Delani supported it. The army opposed it. And Osama bin Laden was killed. Delani supported that, but the army was unhappy. And today, the, uh, the decision in the UN was not a decision of the, it was a decision of, of the, the ambassador himself with the support of their government. It was not done according to the wishes of the army. Now, so there is a big divide between the two. The Americans, through our civilian rulers, would like to keep their hold on Pakistan. While now the army is moving for reasons that may not be our favorite. Now, even though army and civilians are, sub are against each other, but none of them is with the people. We speak of ideology. Exactly, we need an ideology. Who takes the decision for diplomacy? We need to answer that question. Huh? Uh, uh, uh. Who has the power to take these decisions, to make our institutions, to form the ideology of Pakistan, to take over the project of Pakistan? As you have said, it has to be the people. 